Hey guys, so I'm back and I am going to make a little element that I want to make for my channel. And I've seen this on a video, I'll link it, I can't remember the name of the channel, but I will be sure to link it in the description box below. And it's using uh, little coin envelopes. Now, you don't have to, you can use glassine bags or whatever, but I happen to have these little coin envelopes, and I think I want to make, I want to make it with four, because I don't want it to be too bulky, so I'll use four little coin envelopes, okay, and I think I want to cut off these little flaps. So, I found my scissors. I was looking for them. But now I can't find my... Okay, here they are. I'm going to cut off these little flaps. Okay. So, what we're going to do... is I'm going to glue these together and you can use any size if you're making a smaller journal you can cut these shorter but I think these will work for mine because these are right now four inches high so these are going to work for what I want to do so I'm going to take my handy dandy favorite glue of all times Fabri-Tac and I'm going to glue only in the center. Like this. Okay? Only in the center, probably about an half an inch, well, three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to glue that one right there. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one this is so easy but it just adds that little extra cute element to your journal and I'm going to do the same for this one okay And stop there. And press them all. Make sure they're all nice and aligned. A little piece of uh, cardstock pink cardstock. Love that pink and black. Oof. I am not the one for measuring. I don't like to measure. I don't know if you guys are the same way. So this is what I do. This is what I do. I just put it there. <laughs> I put my thingamajig there. And then I just kind of eyeball it. I just kind of eyeball it. Terrible, right? So I know I'm going to cut right there. So, yep. So I have that there, right? So that's my width. And what I want to do is I'm going to put it in the center. kind of bring it up eyeballing it more or less there so let's crease it let's crease it right there you 
Yeah, right there. Fold it. Folder. Okay, so as you can see, it's taller than my uh, envelopes, right? But what I want to do is I want to crease it again, probably uh, I want to say maybe an eighth of an inch. Excuse me. So I'll come and bring it here and I will just do that. So now I have that crease and this crease. Okay. So now I have. So now I have that. See that? Let's see if you can see it better. See that? It has that little thing there. So now my envelopes will sit in there. Okay? Now it's still taller. And the reason I wanted it taller is because I'm going to put a magnet. Now, if you're going to use a Velcro uh, thingamajig, you don't need that because you can just attach the Velcro. But since I'm going to put a magnet, I want to hide my magnet. Um, actually, I can cut it because I'm going to put decorative paper on it. So I'll just cut that too. Let's just do that. Let me just cut it. Why not? It's flush, right? So now we have something that looks like this. Right? We have the lip down here. And we have that. Now I want to score there. Actually, I'm going to score an eighth of an inch hmm. let's score a quarter of an inch higher do I want to do that? yeah let's start scoring a quarter of an inch higher and then about an eighth of an inch four times because I want it to fold this way like that okay and the way that we get that, like that, is if we keep scoring. All right, I'm going to show you. So let's get our little envelopes out. It's better if I show you. I'm going to start scoring a quarter of an inch at a quarter of an inch. I'm going to show you. So here is where my flap is. And I started scoring a quarter of an inch after this one flap. And now I'm going to start scoring about an eighth of an inch for about half an inch up. Okay? So a quarter, a quarter, a uh, eighth of an inch for about half an inch. Okay? I'll show you what I mean. So this is what I did. Oh, I hope that you guys can see that. See what I did? Quarter of an inch above the flap. And then I did those little ridges, which are like an eighth of an inch. And what that's going to help me do is it's going to give me a nice little fold. See? See how it helps me fold? It just helps the cardstock fold nicely. Oh no, my battery is, is flashing. So now, 
The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to put my magnets. Let me see if I have enough time to do that. I'm going to attach this to my little and then only in the middle again and that goes in here and be sure you don't go over your score lines you don't want to go over your score lines at all at all you want to go above that score line and you don't need to put glue at the bottom either you don't want glue at the bottom make sure you're nice and aligned and then you're gonna to go to the front and you're gonna do the same only in the middle only in the middle and you're gonna close it nice and aligned push it okay make sure it's nice and aligned okay and you got something that looks like this oh no I got two minutes of battery left so now when you put your tags in there you have this space up here that's why I did that okay and now you can put your little velcro here or your magnet and then you're gonna put your decorative paper here and your decorative paper here and you glue that to your journal and then once it's dry of course mine is not dry yet when you open it you're gonna have something like that for all of your little ephemeras hold on mine got stuck in there and it's gonna open up like an accordion see you could put tags in there it'll be mad cute okay so I'm going to show you the finished product, but I got one minute left, guys. And um, let me say goodbye before I get cut short. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that helped. All right, guys. Bye.